Right, the first material that's uh, in the 055 is going to be solving absolute value equations. Okay, So we've got one here, uh, but let's just recap on what absolutes are. So let's have a look at this. Remember, the absolute of 2 is 2, but also the absolute of negative 2 is 2. And kind of here's the reason over here, if you look at this side. Um, the distance from 0 to positive 2 is just 2. Okay, But also the distance from 0 to negative 2 is 2. Okay, That's just the distance. You drive to Brighton, it's 25 miles. You drive back, it's 25 miles. We don't really say it's minus 25 miles. So that's the absolutes. Okay? So uh, both of these will produce a positive answer. Now do remember that. Absolutes must produce a positive answer. Okay, So let's go back to this. Okay, so here's the question. Now, so the absolute of 3x plus 5 is 7. But what we're trying to say this is, if I put a 7 inside this absolute, it's going to give me a 7. But also, if I put a negative 7 okay, inside this absolute, it will give me a 7. So, this 3x plus 5 can equal 7, but it can also equal negative 7. So when you absolute it, it does become 7. And that's the basics of all the absolute value equation questions. One's positive and one's negative. Okay, If this equals 7, I'm going to write one version equal to 7 and one version equal to negative 7. And what I mean by that, and I'll just erase this. Let's get rid of some of this material. We'll erase. Uh, bear with me. Okay. Okay, so here we go. 3x plus 5 okay, can equal 7. Okay, there we go. But also, 3x plus 5, okay, that thing inside the absolute, can also equal negative 7. Okay, so there we go. Now, once you've done that, that's the 055 material. The rest is now basic algebra. So let's just take away 5 from both sides. Take away 5 take away 5, back and do it to the one right now, you know, you can run along doing both because you're going to do the same to both, take away 5 take away 5 ok, so I've taken away 5 from both sides, so 3x for this one, that equals 2 ok, over here the 3x, the same 3x, equals negative 12 ok, there we go next step, divide by 3 Divide by 3. May as well do it to both. Okay, don't forget. That gets divided by 3, so do the, do the same to both sides. So, for this one, x equals 2 thirds. And for this one, x equals negative 4. Okay, and basically that's it. Those are your two answers. Now we just like to you to write the answer in a kind of bit of a fancy way. So here's how me writing the answer. Okay. So in curly parentheses, it's negative four, but it's also two thirds. Okay. You'll always get two answers. And there we go. And that's it. So I've got a negative four and a positive two thirds because I put one of those equations, the three x plus five part, equal to seven. But I also put the 3x plus 5 equal to negative 7. Okay, that's it.